Hey there, Monster Gardeners. Today, I am here to introduce you to the originator of double-ended lighting technology. 14.9% more light intensity, 20% more uniformity. They even put a level on this fixture. What I'm talking about, of course, is the NXT2 fixture from PL Lighting Systems. The secret behind the intensity and uniformity of this light is, in fact, the reflector. A lot of research and development went into the production of this reflector. And I know you're thinking, hey, it looks a little bit like a helmet. <laughs> but all jokes aside, this reflector is awesome. A lot of other manufacturers have taken their cues from PL Lighting. Uh, many people attribute Gavita to being the first double-ended fixture, but that's just not the truth. Uh, Gavita's reflector also didn't have nearly the amount of research and development that this one did. Um, again, 14.9% more light intensity, 20% more uniformity. What does this mean? In a room of 100 lights, let's just say to keep numbers round, this means that you can literally shed 15 fixtures or run 85 lights instead of 100 and still maintain that same micromole output at the canopy level. You're kidding, right? This is huge in terms of energy consumption as well as initial cost startup. Uh, these fixtures are very well made, very solid. These are the choice of professional gardeners everywhere. They dominate 65% of the world's market. And uh, there's a number of betterments that this fixture has over the competitors. Uh, the fins are very, very deep for cooling off the fixture. It is a sealed ballast. It is perfectly acceptable to be used in a greenhouse or a commercial warehouse type of situation. They uh, went so far as to even include a level on this fixture so that you can make sure that your lights are hung level. This is very, very important in terms of intensity and uniformity. Uh, this basically allows you to ensure that every light is pointed directly down, focusing that beam of light down into the canopy as deeply as possible. Now, there are two different reflectors you'll see here. The beta reflector, which is for you guys that have 10 foot and higher ceilings, and the alpha reflector, which was specifically designed to give the light a larger footprint for you folks with shorter ceilings. Um, each of these is interchangeable with the fixture, which makes it very, very easy to do. As you can see, I just pulled the uh, beta reflector out and I'm gonna stick the alpha in there. Just like that, very, very simple. Um, another uh, feature of this that nearly every other double-ended fixture has with the exception of the Nanolux are the plastic clips that are used for removing the lamp. They decided to go with plastic rather than ceramic because ceramic is very conductive as far as heat is concerned and it can get very hot and therefore brittle. Uh, the plastic ones ensure that there's no conductivity and they're very, very easy to use just like any other double-ended fixture. You literally slide them apart, pull the lamp out, put the lamp back in, which needs to be done annually with all double-ended lamps and reflectors. Let's fire this fixture up at our testing facility in the tent and see what it does. lighting fixture uh, going inside one of the uh, tents here in Monster Gardens testing facility. You'll notice that this uh, fixture has the beta reflector on there which you would never use in a ceiling height this low. This would be more apt for the alpha reflector. Um, it is spaced right about 48 inches away from the floor which is where we stick our radial spectrometer. Um, you'll notice the uh, fixture is very level. It does have uh, the level here to determine whether or not the hot spot is going to be crooked. Very important to have the reflector be as level as possible so that you're not spreading photons left or right, moving the hot spot around, things like that. You can see this light puts off a tremendous amount of intensity, but this, and this may be anecdotal, but to me it seems like um, because of the reflector and the way heat escapes from it, it feels like the hot spot right underneath it is actually a lot cooler than the competitors. Um, very good light intensity, super good penetration. You'll notice the fins are oriented this direction to shed heat out. 
So there's a lot of competitors on the market that also do lighting plans, but they don't take into account for uh, accumulating light. So the more fixtures that you have in a room, the more light there's gonna be bouncing around. So their light plans, rather than just going on a simple four x four grid and multiplying that, actually takes into account for a number of different variables. Crop size at the beginning of the cycle, crop size at the end of the cycle, um, whether or not you're using tables or rolling benching. There's a number of variables that go into one of their lighting plans, which is why they are so accurate and why they're able to achieve the same micromole outputs as a room with say 100 gabitas or 100 epaps or 100 phantom lights with just 85 of these in the same size of room. So we're talking about a difference of 15,000 watts. That's huge in terms of electrical consumption. And for a lot of people that are doing um, low value crops like tomatoes and things like that, not necessarily a cash crop, that can be make or break for that particular grower. So applying these principles to uh, commercial horticulture as we do, definitely more efficient, definitely a cost saver, and uh, can be the difference between prop being very profitable and not being very profitable at all. You may be asking yourself, why have I not seen this fixture at my local hardware store? Why have I not heard of this fixture recently? Well, the short answer is that PL decided to focus strictly on Big Ag. They thought, they thought it was a much larger piece of the pie. So what they've done for themselves is they put themselves into 65% of the world's indoor horticultural market, specifically producing things like vegetables. We are very, very excited to be able to offer this fixture because of all the features that it has, and it's finally available to us. This took a lot of conversations, much cajoling on our part, but we finally got our hands on this fixture, and now we're able to offer it to you. This fixture and many other fine products are available at monstergardens.com. Thanks for seeing